And I'm just taping some plastic. Um, these are actually liners for the mat uh, for uh, mechanics to put on the floor of their car. And I hope my bird doesn't screech, but if it does, I will have to stop the video. And I'm just kind of putting it on my self-adhesive uh, mat. And I'm going to use this so that it's like a non-stick. I'm just using leftover tape that was at my end here when I was opening a new roll. And I actually ripped off a piece, but just using it up. So it's on my adhesive mat, or a self-healing mat, is that what it's called? And um, I just wiped off any wet, wet paint. I actually had this folded for quite a few days, and there was a little bit of wet paint in there still, so it was still moist. Anyways. What I want to do is I want to make some washi tape. So I have a dowel, I have um, tape, I got paints, and I'm going to make some washi tape. Just mixed media washi tapes. And with some thin, I bought at the dollar store some thin um, tape. Now I did buy, um, I was going to use my adhesive board just like that but I didn't want to get more paint on it I'm already destroyed it or I mean self-healing um, board anyways <clears throat> so I thought well put the plastic over top so if you have any kind of plastic then you can put it on top and then not worry about getting paint through and that's good I think so I'm just going to make a really fun um mixed painting or uh, just like mixing some paints and whatever on here and play with it. I'm not going to worry about it too much and I'm not trying, oh, I'm trying not to overlap them. I would like to get close but some of them are a little further apart. But for the most part I just want them nice and close so I can just paint on it and not waste any paint as much or as little as possible and have some fun with it. That's what I'm going to do. I have this all laid out. I have a few colors. I'm going to choose this uh, Coastal Waters. I'm just grabbing the paints I have upstairs here. Pumpkin patch and what else? Hmm, another color. Maybe some school bus yellow. And I'm just going to put in some places and I'm just squeezing a little bit up here and there and I'm just, I'm just trying to make some nice washi tape not too crazy maybe a little bit crazy and then have some fun with it so first of all I'm just going to use my palette knife Maybe I'll, I don't think I'm going to put the green in yet, or the coastal waters. I have my heating tool. I can just use that to dry. And that would be something neat to try out. Something different. The less space I have, the less I'll be using up uh, some paint here, like getting in my space. I got some in there, but it's okay. Just pull it around and have fun with it. Let me see because I need to put it up a bit more. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stick the washi tape onto the dowel rolls or how it's going to work. We're going to try it out and see if that will work for uh, acrylic paint. This is um, multi-purpose satin, so it's got sheen to it, so it's not like uh, a dry acrylic that's dusty when it dries or like dull. So it might work to be able to, once you let it really dry, Put it on the roll on the, a piece of dowel to roll up your pieces. Oops, to roll up your pieces of washi tape that you make. So I've been sewing all morning and I wanted a break, so 
So I thought, well, what better way than to pull out some paint and my tape and make some. This is just masking tape, and I picked up a dollar store for dollar twenty quart rays. I was looking for my camera, dollar twenty-five. So that's what I picked up, and I picked up the thin, <clears throat> the thin rolls. You can stamp on this. You can do whatever you want. I do have some stamps up here, not too many, but I have a little box of my sketching stuff. And I do have a few stamps. If I could use those as. And once you pull them all apart, it's going to be so cool. And you could do like a whole theme and just have a little bit of everything in it. So, like, I could just draw a whole picture or do a whole thing like that. That's what I mean by a theme or picture or something. Love this background. And now I don't have to worry about the uh, paint. Sorry. I've got baby wipe here for my... It's a little easier upstairs just to use a baby wipe. And I'm going to heat dry this. Put my heat tool. Now I thought I'd play... That's the bird. I'm going to shake up some lipstick red. Is this what it is? Lipstick red. And I'm actually not really sure what I want to do, but I think I might just paint. play around with this. I could pull out a paintbrush, too. I'm just going to kind of get some. I grabbed red instead of just the green yet or the teal, just because... And you can just go layers and layers. It doesn't really matter. And you can dry in between layers. Now I got now I got the teal out over here. You can dry in between layers or not. I'm just using a different uh, one here for my teal because I'm just still not sure what I want to do yet. Playing with it and spreading some color. And here we go. I'm not trying to mud it up or anything. I'm just trying to play. I think I might actually go grab a toilet paper roll. Because I feel like playing with that. Maybe making some circles or something. Um, I think that's what I see on hand. I think I'm going to do that just for fun. I so did that. grab a roll and it's a pretty sturdy one. So what I'm going to do is I could use this on the black. I think I might cut it first just in case I want to use more. I think I'm just going to, it's a pretty sturdy roll. I don't need too big to stamp with. I might just do some slits too. I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do the uh, circles first here. I might actually want to do a little swirl. So I'm going to cut another piece. And what I mean by swirl is an easy way to make like a little swirl image. I'm just going to cut work. Grab a dowel or a toothpick or however thick you want it. I think a pen or a pencil would be great. And just put it around and make a swirl out of it. And you could dip that right into your ink. It's not going to be perfect, and that's what's good. If you hear the bird just squawking there, it pulled a little feather and a little stinker. All right. It's not going to be a perfect swirl, and that's what's really neat about it. And as it gets wet, it might just, uh, it might um, spread more and stuff like that. So that's kind of neat. And I do have a hollowed out pen too that I can use for the back, for the, well, I can use to wrap my swirl around. Oops, you guys can't see a thing that I can use for, um, stamping some different size circles. So here's a swirl that I can use. I'm going to use that. I'm not going to care about too much. 
just recycle some stuff. I like round shapes. You could uh, box the toilet paper roll up. Um, you can make into a heart shape, whatever. First of all, I'm going to play with this swirl. Let's see, are you guys getting enough of this view? Seeing enough, you could use cards to do little hashtags and lines and marks and any kind of stuff like that. It's going to be really unique and you just go all over and you could just have fun, mindless printing and, and that kind of thing. And once you take the tape off, you're not even going to recognize anything, so it's going to be really neat. You just can go down along the end. And you can add more layers on top after two. Whatever you want. And I'm kind of pushing pressure on the center of the uh, coil to make the center more. If you want more of the outside, then you can put the outside. Hold it by the but if I'm holding the center, it makes a better stamp for me, so. There we go. I also put some white out so I can do um, something white. There's like, look at the partial stamp there. That looks great. Toilet paper rules have unique curve to them, so you can just play with them, make them to little S's, curves, and really make something really unique for printing. You can use them on jelly plates as well, and they're e really easy. I'm doing a lot, because this is going to be a whole roll. When they come separate, it's not going to look like a lot. It's going to look really unique, I think. So I'm going crazy with it. So if this was a page, I probably wouldn't do so much. But you could do this whole thing as a page if you want, instead of just washi tape. You can make a page just scraping paint on, and that'd be a background with the stamped out rolls. Seems like a lot of people playing with toilet paper rolls these days too. It's kind of funny. When an idea comes along, it's good. Usually, it catches on pretty good. I am almost out of washi tape. I did buy two rolls for Kira, but I am almost out of washi tape. And I thought, well, instead of buying washi tape, I can make my own. I have other designs I'm planning to make, and I think you guys would like to join me on that one too. Those two, so we will do some washi tape maybe designing for a little while. And seeing how that works. You could dry this all off and then um, have a whole different splatter on top or something like that. I'm just going to make sure I don't get any paint on my sewing. <laughs> it's all around me here, but I'm being very careful. And I just put the paint on a plate here, and I'm just dabbing it on my roll, and I'm going to throw this up out after and have... See how easy that was? Forget where my camera is. And then easy cleanup. No paint brushes, it just gets thrown in the garbage. You can go over top too of some. So I'm just kind of wanting to fill it up now. Get my edges. It's going to look neat. And even though it's less concentrated in dark paint in the center here, it's not, when you pull it all apart, you're not even going to notice any of that. I 
There we go. So that was one idea. Let's see if we could find another idea. We can do, I'm going to slip this one up, and I'm going to take my dowel. We're going to roll it this way. Take it where I rolled it, roll it backwards. I'm going to kind of do a swerve. And just kind of do like a little swirly do thing here. Just play with it until you get what you want. Might need another dowel. Do it with my pen. There we go. That works. Do a little swirly thing. And now I have something else to print up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Isn't that pretty? Kind of similar throughout. So even if it moves a bit, it doesn't even matter. So I just wave my swirls, wave my toilet paper roll. It's holding because the toilet paper roll is meant to be all curvy. It's not a big issue. And there's another thing to print with or a way to change the design. Now I've got my much needed highlights. And you can also just like lift part of it up to just make a smaller pattern or whatever. So it's it's flexible, nice, nice to work with. There we go. Some great washi tape here coming along. And this is great for anyone, not just beginners. It's great for everyone just to play. Like I said, I've been sewing and I'm getting tired. I've been making um, props for a stage. I've been sewing. I'm getting tired. My fingers are getting sore, but this is kind of, I find it relaxing even though I'm still doing something. And I feel like I can go back to my regular continuing my work and look at that isn't it great let's see where I think it needs more I love it and you could just scrape it on or just like, like I said this is great perfect I'm gonna dry that up like that I really like it now I just want to say that I really do like this and because one reason I'm not even gonna I don't think I'm gonna add any more paint one reason I'm gonna tell you why I have the yellow and the orange is a great background but here I did more of the teal and up here I did more of the red so I can if I, my project has one color or the other or something that you know it'll go with or go the opposite of and I want those colors in there. I have a bit of a choice even though I did the same painting throughout. Um, I have a bit of a choice with it which is really nice. So um, if you do it in kind of where it's a wave of different colors that's nice to do that because then if I even if I did like a little bit of something did one color in this corner or something in this well, I like the waves of this way because then it's all one tape kind of a thing. But, yeah, you could do it whatever way you want. I just thought that was neat. I was like, oh, yeah, I have more green on this side. So I have, like, a total different um, tape color down here. And then up, up on top. And you can also put them on old rolls, too. And uh, I'm going to see... This one here it might be 
pretty wet. But you can put them on old rolls as well. And then, of course, the first layer is going to stick to the tissue or the, uh, because it's a cardboard base, the old roll, the rolls are. But there you go. There's a nice washi tape. Isn't that pretty? And then you just throw it on your dowel. And you can even let more of a white end go. And, uh, you know, have your rolling up. Have your dowel just like it rolling up on itself. Oh, let's see here. I'm just going to do what I like. If I left a little bit more of a tail, I'm just going to give you an example. I would have, if I left more of a tail at the end of the, the uh, paint, painted tape, it'd wrap around like this before the painted tape part would go on. So, just for as if I had tail on there, it'd be like going around on itself. But I mean, it doesn't matter. Anyways, roll it up, and there you go. You got your dowel. I'm not sure if I'm ready to roll it, but I'm just going to do one just to show you. Because I think it could set a little longer to dry. Somehow got hot glue on there. And there it is. Rolling it up on my dowel, and then you have your dowel in a can or whatever with different washies on it that you've made. Oh, I'm doing it not even in view. Sorry, guys. That's terrible. Isn't that pretty, though, the uniqueness of it? There you go. So you have each piece a unique washi tape. Now, if I were to let it dry a little bit more, some paint is coming off of it. I think I'll just let it sit and dry a little bit more. Heating it up with heat tool is all nice, but then it softens up the, the paint as well. It dries it, but it softens it. You want to let it cure a bit. You can even let it sit out pure for a few days, then roll it up. But then I would take it off anyway. Isn't that pretty? Because you don't want it to stick to the background. Uh, the, the paint in the background will kind of peel off more. That's so pretty. You make your own washi. It looks so different when it's separated. But that's what it looks like. Your very own washi. Put it somewhere to let the paint get really good and dry on there, cure a bit. There's a lot of moisture in the paint. And if you let it sit for a couple days, all that comes out. And I had it taped to the back. I had my um, paint taped to the back of my board there. So then... Easy release. In case I need to move it, of course, to dry it and that kind of thing. I'm not downstairs on my work area. And it keeps it nice and straight, too. So there we go. Look at that. Oh, this one tore. I tore a little piece. Look at that. It's still pretty. And then.
Here we go. This is the one I tore a bit. And still keep it. And that is the washi tape. So that's a fun way of making washi tape. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial about it. And like I said, this was a nice break. So, you know, I stopped the video for drying, but that's about it. So it was just like a nice break for my sewing. It didn't take too long. My yakking and pulling it all apart is taking longer. Now you see the paint's really drying here and it's starting to come off of the plastic. I prefer it not to do that. That's why I'm pulling it away now rather than leaving it dry. Um, see it's coming off like that now. And I prefer it to be nice and straight. There is a few pieces here that do have the tape. Peeling off, or the uh, paint peeling off, and I got some paint from the background. But I use glue stick too on my projects, so even if I got paint from the background on there from previous painting, it's okay. But you can see here, I don't know if you can see it with the camera being so far away, there is um, paint peeling up my edges. And I don't want that, just because I like the nice straight edge of the washi. And that's why I take it off right away instead of leaving it on to cure on here. And that's it. I hope you guys like that. And give it a try. I think it looks really neat. And once it really gets dry, I can put it on my dowel and not worry about it. But I really want to let it sit a bit. And the stickiness will stay, and then you can always add a little bit of glue stick to your project if you want it to stick on, like if it's coming up. But washi tape's the same, it's just not always so sticky. So sometimes you have to use a little bit of adhesive behind the washi tape to make sure it really sticks to your project. So if that happens, just do the same thing as you do with regular washi tape. Don't forget to craft like a duck, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.